to my channel and if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada and welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out a new foundation and a new concealer and this one is from Flower Beauty. This is the Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel All Day Wear SPF of 18. And I got the shade Tawny M4, I hope that's what I am. And I got the concealer that says Light to Medium. So, let's get some. I feel like I haven't put makeup on in the longest. Thank you guys so much for all the love on my previous pregnancy update. I love you guys so much. You guys are so freaking awesome. I love you guys. So going in with my Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. I'm going to apply this all over my nose and my T-zone area. Now going in with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Primer. So I'm zooming you guys in, all close up and personal, like always. So this is how it looks, pump and all, shake it up. I'm hoping it matches me because the one down from this was just a little bit too, like, no, not my shade. It's very yellow for sure. I see that? All right, so we're just going to blend this in. I think it is my shade. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think so. It just looks pretty intimidating. Just like swatched because it looks very, very yellow. But I think it is, I think it is, I think it is. It does smell pretty good. It doesn't have like an overwhelming scent. It smells pretty all right. Does it say full coverage? No, I, I think where it says a light illusion, it's going to be a light foundation. Eh. And the foundation doesn't feel watery or anything. It doesn't feel thick. It just feels like right in the middle. But it looks pretty kind of like yellowish green. I don't know if it's just me, but that's what I'm feeling right now. Okay, so here is just one layer. Coverage is light. It's pretty light. And here is no foundation. Foundation. No foundation. Foundation, no foundation. I'm just blend this in and I'm using the Rihanna Fenty sponge. My Flower Beauty one is dirty. I love that one. You guys know I rave about that one, but I'm just using my Rihanna one for today. I'm going to see if I can build it up, going in with a little bit more. The consistency of the foundation, again, doesn't feel thick, runny or anything. It feels like just like in the middle. It feels just right. I think you can build it up a little bit, but nothing too, too much. So now going in with the light in the light <laughs> illusion full coverage concealer. See, so this one says full coverage. Here's the concealer, very cute. I have their old packaging of the concealers. I wonder if it's the same ones and they just vamped it up or, or what? But I look. This is the old concealers. I like this one, the old one, and here are the new packaging. I like it. it. Looks thinner. It looks nicer. Ooh, the wand is nice. You guys see the wand? The wand is nice. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, it feels really good. Damn, that is full coverage. Yeah, this is really nice. I love the wand. It feels like it's just going on all in the right places. It look, looks and feels really good. I don't like that. So I'm just going to dab it in and see how well it blends with. All right, it looks nice. I'm gonna keep making those stupid faces because I'm like really like, okay, okay. I really like the concealer. I really love how that blended out. That blended out very nicely, you guys. Very nice. Not patchy, not thick, not too like watery. It was really, really nice. I like how that, I really like how that blended out. I really, really do. So I'm going to contour using the Rimmel and then Insta Duo Contour Stick, and this is in the shade Medium.
Okay, and now I'm going to set with some powder. Okay, so now since that has been baking for a little bit, I'm just going to lightly pat that in and kind of swipe it. I'm really liking how this foundation is looking. It's really nice. It's now 1237. Okay, so it's now 1237. I gotta go run a quick errand and I'll be right back and we're going to finish this face because I'm really liking how it's looking. So I'll be right back. 323. Foundation is looking so good. Look at that. Oh, I had to go to my baby's school and the teachers were like, dang, Lex, foundation looking nice. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> thanks, thanks. It looks so so good. So using my Ofer Cosmetics Makeup Fixer. Okay, so here's how my face looks. So I'll check in in a little bit. 6.51. Okay guys, so it's now 6.51. Checking in. Foundation still looks really, really, really good. I like it. I did notice I am getting a little bit of oil on my nose. Just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Other than that, everything is looking good. Let me zoom in. So I have a little oil going on right here. Nothing too crazy. Don't see anything settling into my lines right here like I normally would with other foundations. Nothing, nothing yet. I'm getting really, really close. Nothing on my forehead. See a little bit of lines, but nothing's like settling in where it's like, oh my gosh, that looks horrible. So I'll do one last check-in and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. 12.34. Hey beautiful, it's now 12.34. It's already tomorrow. So I have been wearing the foundation for a long freaking time now. Okay, so my thoughts on the foundation. Foundation, flawless. Flawless. This is going to be my new holy grail drugstore foundation. Favorite foundation, favorite drugstore foundation. I really like how it looks on my face. I really do. When I was out, I kept catching myself look in the mirror and I was like yes it just looks really really good concealer I really really like the concealer concealer was very pigmented very full coverage but I did notice that I did get a lot of creasing even after I set it and I made sure I patted it out before I set it and it still creased I think that's just something that I will use to brighten underneath right here maybe my forehead and my chin but nothing that I'm going to use as a concealer concealer do you know what I mean that's just going to be my concealer to brighten up my face and give me that highlight look but not to conceal anything you know what I mean so I'm gonna zoom in and show you guys how my face looks okay so as you can see my nose has some oil but nothing too crazy nothing too crazy where it's like Ugh, oh my gosh my nose I can see that the foundation is coming off but that to me is really not a big deal compared to how the rest of my face looks not mad at it at all highlight is still on forehead looks okay doesn't look like the foundation is settling into my fine lines where it's going to be a problem i didn't get any of the foundation settling in my crease areas right here my smile lines none of that i'm not really oily on my forehead or my chin it's just my nose area it looks freaking good i like it yeah there's really nothing for me to really complain about the nose area is looking kind of crusty but it's nothing where I'm like, oh my gosh, I hate the foundation. It's nothing like that. And especially because I've been wearing the foundation for a long freaking time. So how it looks, not mad at it. So the foundation looks really, really good. And I have nothing to really complain about at all. It's good. It's good. I like it. I have combination skin. And I was thinking, okay, maybe I was, in, I was going to get a little bit oily with it. Like a little bit, a little bit more. But no, not at all. So... That's going to be my new favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Flower Beauty Foundation review. If you guys do like these kind of reviews, please give me a big thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already to keep updated with my videos. Also, turn on your notifications. Hit the bell down below. So every time I post a new video, you guys are notified. I love you guys so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.